Hello, this is Travis White with New Blue, and I'm here to show you New Blue Titler Pro Basics inside Avid Media Composer. This is our third installment of the basics. In the previous ones, you were able to see many of the same things that you could achieve with the Avid Title Tool, but much more and much more sophisticated. So what we're going to dig into now is effects and adding shapes. So the first thing we want to do is reopen our title in Avid Media Composer and simply select that uh, clip, that effect on the timeline and open up our effect editor and launch the user interface. And we will be back in working with this new blue title. So just quick review, what we have so far is we have two different paragraphs with two different pieces of text in it. And they each have transitions that bring them in. In fact, we go ahead and play this, you can see the Keplers, our band, and the word down, the name of the song that they're going to be playing. So uh, if we have them go out right there. Now, you're probably wondering what's all this dead space. Well, this dead space is, just to recap, 10 full seconds of our title effect on the Avid Media Timeline because the slice on the Avid Media Composer Timeline is 10 seconds. But we wanted our actual elements to only last 4 seconds. So we'll zoom back in here and work with that. So now, we want to put some effects in here. So let's have this paragraph down selected. And I'm going to open this up a bit and let's go into our library to go get some effects. So drop down the effects category and we can go into the starter pack. The starter pack is simply a selection of effects from the New Blue Effects catalog of effects just to show you that if you own anything from New Blue Effects, it also comes up in New Blue Titler Pro. So you get double duty out of it. Not only is Avid Media Composer a host, but Titler Pro is also a host for these effects. So we could go through some of these. Uh, let's say we could click on Film Camera, for example, and hover over a preset and see what that's going to look like. We could do maybe a handheld crank, electrical storm for, perhaps, maybe something uh, a little more subtle. Maybe Firelight would be nice. Let's do that so that we can double click or simply drag and drop and now that effect is applied to our paragraph. Let's go back to the library and go get another effect, something like a Dream Glow. So we can hover over a preset, Gray Day, or Lemon Jello in this case. And now you can see how this glow, as well as this animation of the, the film camera, is working together. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop and apply that as well. Now notice that we have both effects here on the timeline. And we can adjust the parameters. Notice you have the film camera and you have the dream glow. Each effect that comes in has its own parameters to work with. So now we have a transition, two paragraphs, or excuse me, two effects on the paragraph and a transition out. Let's go get a third effect. So we'll go to the library, effects, and let's, instead of being in the starter pack, let's go to animations. And we could do something like a pan. So if we do like a fast side, you see how not only is the transition bringing it down, but the pan effect is bringing it to the side. Or it could do something like a turn. 180 degree turn, let's say. Remember, New Blue Titler Pro is a 3D application, so you can see it turning in 3D space. Maybe something a little more slow, like this slow turn. That'll work nice. Let's drag and drop and apply. And now, at this point, we can go earlier in our paragraph and decide that we want in our effects, such as turn, that the start point might well, be a little more extreme over there. And the end point, we don't want to be turned nearly as much. Let's bring this back closer to center. So now when we go ahead and play that, you can see how it's turning as it sits there. All right, so let's go into shapes at this point. So there's a number of ways you can bring into shapes. Uh, you can go to the library under shapes, you can go inspect what different kinds of shapes that you have. And these are shapes that you would drag and drop into your project. There's this one shape right here, it's a little, little bit of a star. Go ahead and delete that. We could also go get something like this plate, drag and drop this plate in. Now if you want to reorder things on the timeline, you can simply by reordering the tracks just like this. In fact, let's bring that plate to the front just to work with it a little bit. Now, how is this plate stylized? Well, if we can go to the styles and see all the different style layers, this is exactly the same as you worked with with your different characters. So we could hide different elements here and see which element we want to be working with. 
like there's a face right there that we might want to do a gradient or a color or that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shape inside a paragraph. So let me delete this shape. And the first thing I want to do is select a paragraph and I want to get my cursor to the point where I want that shape to be inserted. And go back to the library and go find this plate red shape, drag and drop. There we go. Now that yellow is kind of, that, that whole glow is kind of getting my way, so I'm going to ditch that glow. Let's do dream glow, right click, and delete effect. All right. So with this same shape, we want to select it and move it around wherever we want it to be and go to the style and let's inspect and see what layer we want to be adjusting. So is it this one? No. That's the one that we want to adjust. And instead of having a gradient there, I want to put in a texture. So let, let me go to my pictures and the song is called down. Let's use a down arrow. So now you have a down arrow in that shape. Let me click off of that one shape to the total paragraph because we want to move this in a little bit in our composition. So let's move that right there. Now, if you had been keyframing animations, for which you can do in Titler Pro and in other solutions, that's your only option, just by moving that paragraph, I would have messed up my keyframes. But because we've been working with animations for our transitions and for our effects, no problem. Let's go ahead and play this from the beginning. The Kepler's and down comes in right there. So let's go ahead and close this down to the Avid Media Composer timeline so you can see what this composition looks like. Go ahead and play. Here they come in. Down comes in. You can see the shape is part of it. It's flickering with that other effect that down has and whoosh, there it goes. So I hope you've enjoyed the basics of New Blue Titler Pro inside Avid Media Composer. I'm Travis White. Thanks for watching.